Hey. I um I've done like a live like twice ever. <laughs> so I don't actually know how it really works, but I want to just do this just because sometimes it's easier to do something like this just to kind of talk instead of like making a video, trying to edit it. And it's an album release. Um, I'm sure most of the people that would be watching this is probably excited for that. So I just wanted to come on here and just talk for a couple minutes. I don't know. Did I watch? No, there's a music video teaser. What is it for? Well, I mean, it's for a music video, but what's the song? All I, I, I know like the album in, um, I did the, the, the pre-save, um, I like pre-saved it on Spotify that way. Like it comes out cause it comes out at 11, but I don't really know why I pre-saved it because like, I'm really not going to listen. Well, I don't, I haven't decided if like, um, I'm going to like record a, like a video tonight. Like it wouldn't be posted tonight, but like when it comes out, like start recording. Cause I'm not going to listen to it until I like kind of do it in front of the camera. So I'm not actually probably going to listen to it right when it comes out, but either way, I'm excited for it. Um, so wait, let me, sorry. I just start talking. <laughs> uh, two hours left. Yeah. And, oh, it's on Instagram. Fortnite. The, that's the first song. That's the, um, see, I still have my like notebook from the video I made like a week or two ago. And that's the one that has Post Malone on it. So let me, let me go look at it. I'm going to go look at it right now. Oh, I see it. Okay. Look. What what is the It almost looks like Frankenstein. Like the she's like up on it like a like a, like almost looks like she's tied to something. Hmm. It's going to be an interesting first one. I probably will then um Probably will listen to the song for a video and then maybe because this doesn't come out until tomorrow. So I'll probably make just two of them. <laughs> Y'all probably will watch, you know, both of them. We'll do one of just the song and then one of the like the music video, I guess. I wonder if there's going to be multiple music videos. I'm, I really like um, the music video. I kind of like since you know, started watching all the stuff. I kind of gone back to the songs that I've like listened to and like music videos that I've watched. And you know what I will say? I, mm, the reputation ones are really good, but I think that the ones that she's been making for at least for the Midnight's ones were really good music videos. I don't know if that's like unpopular or popular, but I thought those were like really well done. Um, I don't know if the Lover ones were all, or they were mostly her, but I think like the, the midnight ones seem like a pretty big step up to a lot of the videos because I was rewatching some of them and kind of listening to uh, Midnight's recently, and I think there'll be two to three music videos. That would be cool. I know there's like um, a bunch of versions or like that have extra songs on it too, and I bought one. I also don't own a CD player. I don't. So I bought one though. <laughs> I bought, um, let me see which one I bought. I can look it up. I don't remember which one it was, but I think it might just be like the original one, like the one that would be normal to buy. Cause I didn't like do it at a special time. I just went on her uh, like website and bought whatever was there just to have one. Cause now I have, um, I have Evermore, Folklore and Midnight's, those three. Let me see. I bought the one. I don't know if anyone knows what it is. It's called the manuscript. That's the one that I bought. So um, it's the, oh, I said, yeah, it's the manuscript one. Yeah, she's in an asylum. I think we're going to get two. She did say the first single. That'd be cool. <laughs> oh, the merch sold out already? I didn't even look at it. I, um, if anyone watched, oh, I'm sure a couple of you did. I, for the documentary, I bought a used Reputations uh, Stadium Tour sweatshirt 
that thing was so expensive. <laughs> I don't know how much it was, um, like when that was happening, but I think it was on like there was a website called Depop. I've never heard of Depop, but it it was literally like I think it was like a hundred and ten dollars, and I was like, but I mean, it is a really nice um hoodie like it's really good quality but i was just like geez i wonder how much that was i don't know if i got scammed or if that was a good deal i really don't know but to me i was like all right that's kind of a lot <laughs> but it's fine 90 minutes to go i know like so for the people that are here like uh is this like your i'm sure it's not your first but like what was your first album waiting for taylor like like, which one do you remember? Or, like, which one was your first one? Because this is my first one, um, like, really being there for, like, the release. So, that will, that's different than, um, mo you know, I've been catching up for <laughs> over a year now. So, like, what was y'all's, like, first uh, albums to wait for? As a reputation stand, I'm nervous. Same. <laughs> I, I've, I saw, um, I don't know if it was a TikTok or if it was the actual tweet but someone said that it was like the album like it was like a reviewer uh, i think and it was saying like it was a mix between red and reputation and i don't know that seems chaotic in the best way like i think they said it was just basically kind of like red since it's like most likely a breakup album that most people would assume um but i don't i don't really know I've been here since OG Red. Oh, that so that's a lot. I mean, that's that's what. When did that one come out again? Let me see. Because not the Taylor's version. You're saying the the original. So that that's 2012. So you've had t over 10 years. That's so cool. Since OG Red with CD at midnight's. Wow, that's so cool. Like, I kind of wish I I wonder what was like the most excite. I feel like the reputation one had to be crazy just because that one was so well, then also like folklore, because that it was like the surprise one. So, like, I don't know which one was Midnight's at Midnight. That's something else I saw. So, like, I my for you page now is like I'm getting the theories. <laughs> and one of them said, like, um, with with Midnight's, they, like, they're, you know how they have those extra songs? They came out, like, later. I think it might have been the next day or something like that. So now people are saying, like, she might release, like, more than what she's doing. Like, whatever we already know, like, which is, like, the original, there might be even more than the... I don't know if that's true. It's probably not, but <laughs> I have seen things where it's like, we got to um, rally and stay up the entire night because apparently there might be something more. Cause I saw that. And then there was also like a, um, a library or something like something that people were going to midnights and midnights <laughs> folklore. Never more with the surprises <laughs> folklore, maybe gas and crying for an hour. I've, I, did not experience that, but I would totally relate if that was the case. 3 a.m. tracks. My favorite was Reputation, Sudden Snakes on Insta. I was literally thinking. That's, that's funny. Like, my um, my sister, because, um, like, if I've, I've, I know I've mentioned this before, but they were really into, well, they still are, but they were, like, the ones that were always really into Taylor Swift. And I remember one thing about, I think it was... um. I think it might have been for Lover because they were making plans to go to um, the the Lover concert was going to be in L.A. or New York. I don't remember. But I remember <laughs> helping them get into like Ticketmaster because they were buying tickets. It was L.A. because I was going to go with them to L.A. at the time. Um, and that ended up being uh, like COVID. Like so they bought the tickets, but then they got refunded because we didn't end up getting to go. So I wanted to go to that. I, I don't think I had a ticket to the concert, though. I got Do you have any of your own theories? I feel like um, I have I do have theories because I kind of think like. 
I think it's going to be sad, but I have a feeling that it's going to be, I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if it's going to be as sad as people are saying it is. I don't know why I feel it. Just because I feel like when you hear, I mean, maybe, maybe like thinking that the first song is a Post Malone song. I can't help but feel that that's going to be upbeat. So like, I know that, which maybe that's why it's like red because like red does do that. Like changing it up every two seconds. Um, I got vintage tortured rep vibes from the music video sneak peek. Yeah, it did look like that. Uh, I also thought my f very first theory happening on live um, was when you watch that uh, teaser again, when she's hugging the person, hugging that person outside, it kind of looks like um, the the train tracks. You remember in like the meme? I think it was meme. One of the, yeah, I mean, like she was like with the robbers, it kind of looked like that, maybe because it was just like black and white, but kind of looked like that to me. I should be ready for to this. Song of my life. <laughs> she said to have the dictionary ready. I'm going to have, yeah, that's, I feel like that is going to be something with this album when making like videos and just talking about it. I feel like even if it's not as sad as I think it's going to be, I know it's going to be hard to decode. Like, I know <laughs> it's going to require a dictionary and still probably more than a dictionary because I won't get it on the first try. I know that. Um, there are many leaks. I've been trying to dodge them. I got spoiled on how it sounds, but I didn't hear anything. Think of. Oh, I didn't even know it, it leaked. See, like, it's so weird. Like, I think I, I think I see the stuff, like, not too far down the rabbit hole. Like, I'm farther down the rabbit hole than I what I was, like, a year or two years ago, but I don't see like the super specific stuff. I feel like I see the stuff that like would be posted on a major outlet. Like, you know, like I don't see like the super, super niche stuff. So I didn't see anything about a leak, but I also feel like that kind of stuff is on like, I'm guessing Twitter and I'm, I don't really go on there that much. Like TikTok, I think it would be harder to post like leaks and stuff. So I didn't see, I kind of just only scroll TikTok. <laughs> um, so I, I haven't seen anything with leaks. Uh, rep vibes for the color palette. Yeah. Um, people are saying that there's going to see, so you, so you've heard the 2 AM track thing too. Uh, I, I don't know. That would be like, I feel like that would be a really smart way to like, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be listening regardless. Don't get me wrong, but I could definitely see that being a way to like get like, that would make people run to go listen to the album. If they found out like, the thing they have been hyped up and like you just get finished listening to because um how long is this album because if it comes out at midnight would it be would it be almost 2 a.m by the time you would finish it because then that would be like the perfect thing where it's like you just finished this you know 16 whatever album tracks and then you just get bombarded with like i don't know another three songs or i don't know how many would be in like that deluxe part but so long London and but daddy I love him hurt definitely the London one because that's the that is the track five so I I agree that, that one's going to be probably aw awful in the best way <laughs> um the hug reminded me of hugging him during the artist of the decade I don't I might have to look that up I don't really remember if I have seen it I don't remember it um the teaser lyrics are just sad I heard the leaks are on Telegram. What's Telegram? Is that is that like social media? I don't know what that is. But I'm also like, I, I'm like out of the know kind of often. <laughs> um, okay, for the clock in the teaser, it says 2 a.m. So, so, so maybe there are there is some like validity to uh, some of the theories, I guess. Because like, I see that like, there's a lot of theories, but like, if you're going to throw out 50 theories, one of them has to be right. Right. <laughs> so maybe that's the, maybe that's the strongest one. What songs am I most looking forward to? Um, I have the names right here. I think the one I'm most excited for is I'm interested in the alchemy. I think that one's going to be cool because like, it seems very mysterious. I'm excited for that one. Um, I'm trying to remember which ones. Well, obviously the track five, but that's just because it's the track five. I'm interested in Guilty as Sin. Guilty as Sin, The Alchemy. Um, 
love of my life. I mean, all of them. But I think the one I'm like the one that's not on the album, which I'm not gonna be able to listen to because I don't, I won't own the albums. But I think the Black Dog sounds really interesting. I didn't make that a part of um, the video I made about prediction videos because I didn't do the bonus tracks. But the Black Dog seems really interesting to me. I, I really want to hear that one. Um, the two theories are sending me, or peace theories are sending me to the asylum. See, I'm claiming, I, I guess claim is, claiming's pretty much the same thing as like, which one am I most excited for? Honestly though, Down Bad kind of sounds, they all sound good. But I think I have a weird feeling about Tortured Poets. I, it being a title track, I don't know, like, because I still don't know how you make that into a song. I mean, I, I know the album's called that, but, like, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, I'm curious about that one, but I don't think I'm going to, like, like, I don't think that's going to be my favorite. I just think I'm, I just want to hear it, just because I want to understand, like, where are we going with the title? <laughs> but I don't think that's, like, the one that I'm, like, most excited to hear out of all of them. Telegram is similar to WhatsApp, but with channels. Okay. I, I've i never really had uh, WhatsApp, but I know that's popular in, I don't want to generalize, but I think it's a, like a lot more popular in like Europe because um, I went to Paris in November and that was something that we had to download because like everyone was using it. I was also with like a tour group. So that was also why um, I think we had to use WhatsApp. And I think it just honestly worked better um, in your, like, compared to the other things that we had, Snapchat really didn't work. Like the, the things that I'm used to kind of using didn't really work very well. I'm intrigued by, oh yeah, that one, that Clara Boa song or Bo is one that I'm, I think it's, I really think like in the prediction I made it and I looked that up, I'm not admitting that I um, came up with that, but she is a silent film star. And I feel like given that all of the album theming kind of is like black and white and, I could see I could see it totally being like I was silenced and now and it's the last track of the album. So like I was silenced, but now you just got my whole story. I don't know. I, I feel like it could be something like that. Um, the, sm uh, the smallest boy who ever that one. I feel like that person should hide based on that song title. Um, who's afraid of little old me? I don't remember. What did I write for that one? I think I, I wrote that it was cheeky and revenge. So if I'm right on that, I have a feeling that it's going to be in line with something like Mad Woman, right? Like, you know, like I'm I'm the villain or something like that. Why are you afraid of me? I, or it could be the opposite, I guess. But I kind of see it as like a revenge -y type of song. Apparently, I'm afraid of Taylor. <laughs> I agree with Stephanie. I think it's going to have Saturn bitterness vibes. Yeah, I agree. I think that's definitely going to be because like just given the title, some of them just feel like it's almost like I, I like I was in it for the long haul and like someone wasn't or something like that. Um, she looks like Clara Bow in the teaser. I don't think I've seen um, what that person looks like, but that would be, that could be a pretty like an Easter egg to something, if that's true. I'm excited for my boy only breaks his favorite toys and who's afraid of it. They're both self-written. Oh, okay. So, so those are probably going to be one of the best songs because I feel like she writes when she does it alone. Because wasn't it... Which one was the album that everything was written by her? I mean, I know all of the songs are... Um, was that... It was one of the old... Was it Red? No. Or was it Speak Now? I know one of them was the one that was, like, all her. But, um, oh, hey. <laughs> Did you see the teaser for Fortnite? Well, not until I got on this, like, live stream. And then, like, some of the other people told me that it was there. So I did just watch it. It's, it's pretty short. But I also didn't see the, um, I was actually about to ask about that. Because right before that on her Instagram, she has a, um, like a, like a, like, the, I don't know if y'all, mm, I don't think it's going to work to see it. It's like a hallway. Um, so like, I didn't see this either, but it looks like it's just kind of like an animated video. And, oh, it says the torture poet release date. Oh, so I guess this was announcing, this was like an announcement to the announcement of the music video, I guess. 
or something like that. I didn't see that either, but um, the titles are definitely unhinged. <laughs> they are. I feel like I feel like they're probably one of the most. Oh, I forgot about Florida. I just want to know: Did something happen? Like, what is what's going on in Florida? <laughs> I mean, honestly, what isn't happening in Florida? If you've ever been to Florida, <laughs> you would question that. But I don't know what is going on in Florida. I want to know. Title track could be like red title track. It's giving more, ever more title track vibes. Mm -hmm. I also just feel like, is it going to be school themed? Like, because like tortured poets, I think I even said that in my video. So I don't want to sound like super redundant, but uh, it sounds like you're like a teacher or something like that. So is it like you're trying to, I don't know. It just feels like I, I cannot wrap my head around what, what that means. I still can't. Oh, so it was speak now. I knew, I knew, I knew it was one of the older ones though. And I should have remembered that. I don't know why I didn't. It's not a hallway. It's an asylum. Oh, oh, so that that's what y'all were saying a couple minutes ago about the the when I said it looked like Frankenstein. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, that is the schedule week. Uh, it was a timetable. Let me see it again. Oh. So <laughs> I wonder how many people were already making theories that when you see the asylum or like the hallway looking room, it looked like there's multiple rooms. Like how many people are already like, that's three different albums. We're about to get three more <laughs> or something like that, just because that's what it looks like. Um, I think this was the first Eras tour after the breakup. Oh, like Florida? That, that would make sense. Because I also feel like that's what... Um, I think it's what I can do it with a broken heart could be about too. Like you could do a lot of things with broken heart, but what is like the main thing? Like I feel like her life has been um, the Eras tour for a, uh, over a year. Right. So like, cause I mean, I, no, it, it's definitely more than a year because I went to um, with my sisters, the Houston show last April. So it's been a year since then. So I know like, Considering I don't know how when she started this album, but like it's been a it's been a hot minute. Um, Florida, Florida, oh okay. So the comment I didn't even read the second comment right after that. Sorry, <laughs> Florida was the first show after the breakup. She's running out of the midnight room and going to the torture poets department. She said that the lover house is basically really that is that lover house had so many things going on with it like. I didn't realize in the mo like, I guess because Lover was the most recent album that I did and I didn't like, I kind of wish sometimes that I would have done them more in order. Like, because you could see like the house structure and how they added like the hallway being like folklore or something and like how it was like a long time. Like, it seems like it was a year, years of a theory of like this house. Um, I didn't, I don't, I don't know if I saw where Midnight fit into the house. But I don't know if it stopped with Evermore or if like Midnight's went into that theme too. But I did see like how the house was. And then I think someone told me like in the airs tour during maybe the Coos. No, there's a part in the tour where like she burns the house down and it's kind of like saying like it's which, which actually that guess it could make sense of what you just said about the asylum thing. Like, um, kind of like burning the house down and then now you're moving on to you know you're the love isn't there in the house anymore i guess um the hallway is similar to the hallway in the lover house the the first scene in the lover music video yeah the florida was the first show after the breakup i i bet not that you guys would know this but i bet that let me look up the tour dates because i wonder how long or before that was um for the show that i went to because that seems like if you if you think logistically, um, like Texas is pretty close to Florida. So like if you're you know you don't fly to North uh, like New York and then come to Texas, um, so it had to be like somewhat around that time. Let me see. Uh, this isn't really for anything relevant. I'm just curious. Um. Okay, tour dates. Let's see. 
Nashville, Foxborough, Chicago. Oh, wait, I passed it up already. <laughs> oh, is the show right before? See, like, April, well, it was Tampa. Uh, I think that might have been the only... The Tampa shows were April 13th, 14th, and 15th, and then the Houston shows that I went to was the 21st, 22nd, 23rd. So it was like a week after. I didn't even realize that. Um, Aeris Tour started in March. I think she started writing them after midnights. In the timetable, she left the glitter pin in the midnight room, so I think there will be... Okay, I don't know. What does that mean? <laughs> Wait, she left the glitter pin in the Midnight's room, so I think there will be no glitter pin songs. Uh, uh, if you have a moment, I would explain that to me. <laughs> um, bad blood. Oh, okay. So it was in the. So it was, that was when the house. That makes sense. Now we got bad blood. She said she's in the first. Um, she said in the first show in Tokyo that she's been working on the album throughout the U.S. Like, oh, okay. That makes, how does this person have time for anything? Like, I could not imagine doing a three-hour show, like, three, every day of the weekend. And then, I guess you do have the full weeks in between the concerts. Because I don't think she really did weekday um, dates. But still, you would think that after doing three consecutive shows... Um, and then probably having to travel to the next place. When did you write an album? <laughs> and then also, I mean, also she has a personal life. And she was at a lot of the Chiefs games. So, like, when did you do all of this? Um, okay. Yeah, and the quill or fountain pens are on display at the Pop-Up Grove. Okay. Taylor's songs are in three categories. For Taylor, there are types of songs. Quill pen, fountain pen, glitter pen. Glitter pen. Oh, okay. Glitter pen is like bejeweled, like silly songs. Okay. And so there's no... Wait, let me go back to that original comment. It said... She left the glitter pen in the midnight's room, so I think there will be no glitter pens. So there's going to be like no... Um, no, like... Maybe not upbeat is the right word, but like not as many like... I feel like Midnight's did actually have a lot of upbeat kind of vibes, especially like Bejeweled. Um, I guess Midnight Rain isn't that upbeat, but I really like it. Um, and it feels a little bit more upbeat to me. Anti-hero. There's definitely a couple that are pretty upbeat. And that would also make, make sense to the um, song titles on this album. I could see that it's not a, like a glitter pen thing. The glitter pens are pop. Oh, Karma. How did I forgot Karma. That's like such a glitter pen uh midnight song so what was what's the difference between the quill and the fountain are those just kind of like sad songs or more more not as a, like are they the same thing kind of um love the quill pen songs i probably do too because i like the sad <laughs> like my two i go back and forth often of like which albums do I like the most um and I it, it like I, I would assume that for you guys too it probably changes often about which ones are your favorite but like depending on the mood or the vibes <laughs> my, I think my top two will always be it's, folklore is definitely one of them. Like, it's always going to be there no matter what. Um, but I feel like the number two literally slides between, like, um, Reputation, Evermore, and Red, I think. I, I think those would be... I mean, I know that's basically, like, oh, like, a lot of albums, but, like, it's always... Folklore or Evermore are always usually at the top. Like, that's definitely my favorite, too. And then after that, like, pop-wise... I guess you would have to sort them out into like categories. The folk song, folk albums are in its own like category, but like pop albums, I think my favorites would, my favorite would be Reputation. Min? Reputation or what? I don't know. No, I think I'm going to go Midnight's. Reputation, Midnight's, Lover, 1989. 1989, I liked it, but that was probably my least favorite of the um, pop albums. Okay. 
post Malone was seen leaving the Indoor Studios back in September, so I believe it was her Fortnite. Okay, that's actually pretty recently to like, like in the last six months. That's actually she started writing. T- I wonder how long. Like, I know like this album has been worked on for two years, but like, was like two years, you know, like or a year and a half of writing, and then it only takes like a couple months to record it, or is it like? writing's really quick and then actually like you know recording it and then like producing like the like the cds or like getting it on streaming i wonder what is the longer uh like process with music and that's not just her like i wonder what is the part that takes the longest quill is folklore fountain is more of her diary songs okay that kind of makes sense so like a fountain song could be something like from lover um like like Cornelia Street, so like a folklore song would be Quill, and then like Cornelia, a lot of Lover sounds like it would be more of like because I feel like well the whole thing with the uh, documentary of Miss Americana, she was literally saying like the whole kind of theme of Lover was like looking into looking into her diary, so that would make sense that that would be kind of like the Fountain, right? Fountain, yeah, Fountain uh, album. This divides her songs into writing. Okay, so Quill songs rooted in oh. So then, so then this album is going to be a lot of Quill songs. It sounds like Quill pens are. <laughs> I like the description of um, Quill songs are the ones that have medieval vibes. You know what song has middle medieval vibes from her? It was um I'm blanking on the name. It was from the Vault. Let me see. Cause there's a there's a playlist, um, there's a playlist on Spotify that's called like the Vault, and it's just the Vault. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, but <laughs> it's just the Vault songs, and I kind of listen to that sometimes. Just, well, I don't listen to the Fearless ones because I haven't gone to that album yet. But for the other part, I mean, there's three Vaults. Castles crumbling. That one gives me um, medieval vibes. Oh, I don't want to play that. I'm gonna get like copyrighted so quickly. Um, but if you know, you know, (laughs) uh, okay. I can never rank her albums. Truthfully, same. Like I, I have favorites, but like literally, I think, I think I have like opinions of course, but like someone could literally talk in front of me and be like, this is the best of the albums. And I'd be like, you're right. Like, if you give me like two reasons, I'll just be like, "Mm, I can see it. I get it. Um, (laughs) but all right. I would wonder if there's any of the lake references as the poets went to die. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. Like reference. I wonder if she's also would maybe mention which, which poets, like I know nothing about poets. I like, I'm not saying that, but like, I wonder like who the poet inspirate. Like if you have like, if you're really into poetry, you have to have like a favorite poet. So I wonder if there's going to be any information about that. Hey, I'm also a little scared. <laughs> That's why we're all talking together. We're just like killing some time before, you know, the album. <laughs> I feel you. Same. I'm usually very energetic and excited, but this time it's different. <laughs> One hour left, I feel like vomiting. My favorite poet is easy. It's Taylor Duff. <laughs> true. True. I, I literally like, maybe this makes me sound like dumb, but like, I think the only poets I really know is like the ones that they kind of like, just force you to learn in school. Like, uh, of course, Shakespeare. And there's that one that's like, uh, it's like two, two paths diverge. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about, but it's like, <laughs> uh, two paths diverge in a, in a quiet forest or it's something like that. <laughs> and it's kind of just like telling you to take the road less travel by or something. But like, that would be literally like one of the only also the, the, um, the guy with the crow, the, the, the kind of scary poet, <laughs> the one that would, uh, he had like a heartbeat underneath the floorboards. What was that dude's name? Heartbeat under floorboard poet. The telltale heart. Edgar Allan Poe. 
that's who it is. I don't I, I don't know why I remember that one so specifically, <laughs> but I, I remember that from school weirdly. Um sorry, I gotta catch up. One hour to love. Hey, um, my favorite poem is easy. Gold Rush get Gold Rush does kind of give me medieval vibes, I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, does does Evermore not just as a whole just feel like that one of all of the albums kind of just give the most medieval vibes to me? Especially, did someone say Ivy? Because I thought I saw it. Um, and I agree. That, that's actually, that's one of my favorite ones from um, Evermore. This is my first release album. Awesome. Experience that together. Uh, I get vid medieval vibes from another song, but you haven't heard it on the album, so I don't want to spoil it because it's a very specific. Which album is it from? Because, like, we are like almost done y'all <laughs> i mean poets is probably gonna take a while don't get me wrong but like after that it's really just uh fearless and the the original album and i'm sure once uh reputation comes out i'll not re-listen to every song but like maybe just kind of see the differences and like obviously the vault there um so that's why I kind of want to do, I think after this one, I'm definitely going to do Fearless next because the, um, like the, the, the Taylor's version already exists. So I don't have to like wait because like, I feel like that's kind of what, I mean, Reputation still doesn't come out, but I kind of felt like not bad, but like doing that one earlier because I never knew when like the new one would drop, but I don't think I would listen to the original, like the debut one, because I feel like that's probably inevitable coming, uh, Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. <laughs> did, did everyone else get like forced into like, I remember, I don't know where you guys are from or anything like that, but um, in school, like they was like in the English classes, there was like three things that they made us do. We had to Romeo. It was like the Shakespeare part. It was like Romeo and Juliet and Macbeth. I was in a Macbeth, like weird play kind of thing. Um, and then it was like a required thing. Um, and then it was like we had, to, we had to bring Frankenstein by that lady and then kind of like the Edgar Allan Poe stuff. Um, I've just seen that Chase Taylor's ancestry and she's related to Emily Dickinson. Really? Is that real? That'd be kind of, that's really cool. I think there's a show about her. Um, Cause I've seen, um, I have like a MacBook and there's like Apple TV and like, all the time, like anytime I open, like if you like restart the computer, it always like opens up Apple TV. And I think for a very long time, I would see like, um, like the Dick, I think it's called Dickinson. I think it's just called that. Maybe it has, um, Johnny, you remember it. Uh, one of my friends from high school, we're still friends now. I feel like she's gonna be like, why you called me your friend from high school? My friend John <laughs> is watching. And were you, did you have to do the play for, uh, what was, what was that lady's name? I'm friends with her, Miss Domang. Cause she made us do, uh, like they had the witches and stuff we had. It wasn't like a full play, but they, she made us act it out. But I think it was because our class talked a lot and she was like getting annoyed that no one was actually reading the book. So I don't, or play, I don't know if you had to do that, but tell me if you did, John. Um, the Road Not Taken By by Robert Frost and The Raven by Edward were poems I was forced. Okay, same. See, like, those are the exact two. I don't think we did that in middle school. Um, in middle school, we did The uh, the Outsiders. It was like the... Uh, like It was like Greece, but, like, not. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, John, uh, obviously you probably do, because we, we weren't in the same class, I don't think, but... You probably know what I'm talking about when I say the outsiders. What's your favorite? What's your favorite album of? I don't know what my favorite album would be because I mean I like a lot of the Taylor ones, but outside of her, um, I really like Bruno Mars a lot. <laughs> I listen to a. Um, one of my other friends like we were always really into Bruno Mars. He doesn't have very many albums, so like it kind of gets old because like I've been listening to the same things for like, he doesn't release new stuff very often. So like, I don't hear it that much. Um, I also like Dua Lipa's album, uh, future nostalgia. I think that's a really good album. I listen to that a lot too. 
uh, I think that Folklore Nevermore will be linked to her and Joe's relationship. So you think like uh, some of it was fake? Or not fake, but like not actually, like the whole theme of that was like that it's not true. Um, but maybe it, maybe it was more true than what people say. I'm going to get snacks. But <laughs> bye. Enjoy the album if you already left. I'm not sure if you did, but the Mac 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 we didn't watch the movie. How did you get... How did you get to watch the movie and we had to act it out? Like, we got scammed in our class. Um, I honestly love Arabic, Arabic poems and poets more. Um, not <laughs> No force, but one of my early favorite short stories was... I'm going to mess that up, so I'm not going to try. But I don't... Is it good? Should I look it up? I mean, I'll take a picture of it in case if it's something that I should, I should educate myself on. Um... No, we just watched the movie acting out. Oh, the Salem Witch Trial one? That was, uh... Was it... Wait, the, the Salem Witch Trial, that was the one that... Is it... It's not the easy A. Not the easy A. The, uh, it's not that one. It's the the Crucible. Was it the Crucible? Because we had to do that, too. It was, like, the, the older guy with the younger girl, and it was really kind of, like, problematic, to be honest, like, that play. But I think that's what it was. Um, Pony Boy, yeah, Pony Boy is from The Outsiders. Me and my besties are doing a release party tomorrow. Um, that's cool. I, I John, are you want to do a release party one day? She's gonna say no. She's gonna say no. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm going. I'm sure my friend is gonna tell me a lot about the album too tomorrow because we're going to eat uh at lunch tomorrow. My top three are Folklore, Red, and 1989. Oh, you said yes to that party. All right, John, tell me your tell me your favorite album. Tell me. So we have this thing where she is... I wouldn't call it a hater. She just doesn't really get... She doesn't get Taylor. She doesn't get it. I, I've tried. I've tried to help her. And she's not seeing it. So I don't even... We don't even... We don't, even, we don't even talk about it because, like, I can't convince her. Um, she'll just be like, what? what is she saying right now? The one with our song on it. That's not even the one. I know that song. But, like, we even tried. So, um, I never posted it because it just ended up not being a... Not that it was a bad video, but we tried to do a game of uh, guess the... I think what was, it was guess the lyrics. It was guess the Taylor lyric or... Um, Taylor or Shakespeare, I think that's what we did. And then we ended up not posting it. But it was like a game that we tried to play on. I was going to post the video when she came down. We don't live in the same state anymore. Um, I got broken up with on Monday. He told me what he did. Now I got it. That's awful. I'm sorry that happened to you. I, I'm sorry. I'm probably kind of late to... Um, like to like reading that comment i act like i have so many comments like i'm like i can't catch up i don't mean it like that i just did i start talking about something and then i don't like really look at that way but i'm sorry that happened to you um this might sound bad but like if there's a so if there is a silver lining at least you get to experience like probably the saddest taylor swift what i'm assuming will probably be a really sad breakup album that might be worse, though. I don't know. I don't mean to say that badly, because, like, I don't know. That might be a worse experience going through something really that hard. But regardless, I'm sorry that happened to you. Um, but also, if that person did something bad, then, I mean, it's better that you know now. But my top for 1989 rep and lover. Those, those are some good choices. Um, hey. <laughs> I, I always just like, hey. <laughs> but I, when I see the hey. Um the one with Out of the Woods and Trouble. At least you can understand um, that that Out of the Woods is that song. Like, no debating there. That That is the glimmering moment of 1989 to me. And I'm glad that you see it because she likes the... She doesn't like many songs by Taylor at all. But she does like the acoustic version. Like, uh, the one... Is it the Grammy Museum performance? I don't know if she had talent. She likes that one. I could sell her on that one. Like, um, there's like, we used to have like a shared uh, playlist with another one of our friends. And like, we would add songs that we were like, this is a like our friendship. It wasn't about our friendship because our friendship wasn't about being out of the woods, but like, 
that's in there <laughs> because of it. But Taylor Swift post. I should honestly, I should post it. I probably, st I, I know I still have it on. I have like a like a hard drive, so I know that that video is on there. It's quite literally over a year old. Um, but honestly, I should re we should redo it. I should find a different game because I know I would kill her now. Like Jonna, I would I would do so much better now. Um, we could even do it like I'll re screen record, but like we can, Jonna, we could do it on Zoom or on FaceTime. And then I'll post that version. Or maybe I could just find the real one. But we did it in person together um, the last time that we had it. And it honestly, it was kind of funny. But um, yeah, John, see, John was fearless, red, 1989. Educate yourself. Um, It's okay. It was a mutual decision. You're good. <laughs> I get what you mean. Can't top this. Yeah. I, Evermore is a. I, see that's what I'm saying like I could be convinced by anyone <laughs> that one is better than the other because you could argue it so easily um, and it makes sense because uh, the, the speak now is your profile so that kind of makes sense that, that would be one of your top ones um, I cannot wait for Taylor I have to go thanks for the lot yeah thanks for being here I know like it's not the most exciting thing ever it was just I was bored <laughs> and um, it was kind of a new thing to do. I I've only done this like once or twice. It's always been enjoyable the few times I've done it, but like, I never think that like, especially with being on YouTube, I, I, I didn't know if people really did that. Like I know people go live on like Instagram, even TikTok, which I, ha I don't have a lot of followers or anything like that. But if you didn't know, you need like a thousand followers to go live on TikTok, which don't know why, but I have those. So I actually could go live on TikTok if I wanted to, but like, I don't think anyone would watch it. <laughs> um, We were literally fresh out of Mardi Gras when we recorded. We were, we were also a little drunk, but, or not drunk, but like, you could, honestly, if I posted a video, we all would all be like, mm, no, we could tell. <laughs> because we also did, we didn't record it, but we also, that was when that trend was going on where, you know, when people would like turn around the computer and it would be like a lyric version on the TV or something and you have to try to sing along with the song. We also did those. Um, it wasn't like Taylor Swift songs, but it was we were doing that game. So it, it was funny. It was funny. Um, Spotify will probably crash a little bit. I hope that they are prepared. I mean, couldn't, I couldn't get it for a minute. Really? I didn't think it that's that's crazy that that crash though. I mean, I also wonder like is spot. Do you guys use Spotify or Apple Music? I am an Apple Music hater. Well, I say hater. I've never had it, but I just can't believe that it's better than Spotify. Like I just won't believe it. People can tell me that it's that Apple Music. The only thing I think Apple Music would be better for is I have heard like the um the spatial like like sometimes if you are like a headphone user you do get a better experience with like the like the music i guess but like interface there's nothing i think that could like sway me from spotify it all started when it was offering a student discount that sold me in the first place and then i i and i love spotify wrapped i think that's really cool as well um, and I'm also always been surprised that I've never switched to Apple music just because like, I have like the watch, the Mac, like I'm very like invested, <laughs> but I just won't do it for, um, like Apple music. I just can't. How's my anxiety watching this live? Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Um, so freaking nervous. <laughs> my favorite song off of Midnight's is Dear Reader Thoughts. Cause people, I assume, I assume 15 years old years old coming for me saying no i really like that song i think literally when i made a video on dear reader it was like the midnight's was the first album i did on this channel and i literally titled like dear reader is great like i literally thought it's one of the i don't want to say the best but it's it's very high with the um 3 a.m tracks it it used to be like one of my favorite songs but one song that's really grown on me a lot which is so surprising is labyrinth and i i didn't dislike it but it was not a favorite for a very long time and i started listening to it recently and i really enjoy it um i'm about to ride my electric city or less are you really 
that is so cool. We I live in a place where they don't have those like electric scooters. Like it's not a major city, so like I don't think I would do that anyway because I'm really not coordinated. But that is cool that you have that you can go do that. Uh, I assume that you live in like a pretty big place. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for posting. The, yeah, Spotify all the way. I don't even have Apple products, so you should do one. You should do one if it's Taylor Swift or Beth. What? There's one. That, I'm taking a picture of that because I forget very easily. And I, and the last thing I ever want to do is rewatch one of my own videos. I can't do it. Like, I have, as dramatic as this sound, I post something and then I'm like, no. Like, very rare. I respond to, like, pretty much every comment. But it might be, like, two days later because I just, I guess that's, like, a little bit of anxiety. But, like, I post something and then I immediately have to, like, dip or like do something that I'm like not thinking about like and that's weird honestly for me to say that because like quite literally I've thankfully have really never gotten like hate but like I'm always just like waiting for like someone to be like you're the worst person ever and <laughs> they might be right I don't know but <laughs> I do have that like I gotta go so I'm gonna take a picture of um the Bath and Body Works game so I want to do that Donna we're, if you're still here we're going to do that. That's going to be the Zoom video that we do. Because I'm probably not going to see you for a while. Um, yeah, this uh, is helping with my anxiety. And the reason my oldest daughter and son are on a flight. That's a that's a pretty long flight. Hope that, or Do they live in Colorado? Or like they're just going back home? Um, but I'm looking at the timer like every 10 minutes. Yeah, honestly, I didn't think I would. Not saying I didn't think I'd be on here very long. But also, um, it's been a while. And I'm. I'm not saying I did, wouldn't have had fun, but like it does, it feels like time's gone by really much quicker than when I was just sitting by myself. <laughs> so I'm excited that we got to do this at least. Um, and then, uh, okay, same pepper. Wait, I might have missed something. Oh, same pepper. Okay, <laughs> top two percent swifty black crunette just sitting in my cart in Candace. If I'm gonna buy it, how much is it? I'm I'll, I'll help you decide if it's. If it's more, I'm I'm talking in U.S. dollars. I'm assuming that it would be that for you, but I'm not sure. Um, if the crew neck is under eighty dollars, you should buy it. If it's more, let's talk about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can do what you want. Um, I'm 15 years old, and the dear readers, I top two. All right. Um, I'm obsessed with the verse. Verse. I so. Um, it's really not funny, but like, I, I think I might've mentioned it in a video because it happened to me like six months ago. I sprained my ankle. Um, just being stupid. I literally jumped off of something and did not land it. So that's why I was also saying I was uncoordinated, but, uh, I jumped off of something and I twisted my ankle. So there's a part in dear reader. I made a TikTok and it was like, dear reader, bend when you can snap when you have to. And I made it to like my really swollen ankle because I was like, it just, it didn't break, but it like, what are we doing here? Why does it feel like it's broken? Um, okay. Sorry. I got to read. <laughs> my top three songs are Dance, Sunset, My Bad, Hope Not, Love You. My three songs are <clears throat> the 10 minute version. I mean, that has to be at everyone's like close to their top songs. I mean, Clean and Enchanted. Enchanted is really good. How can anyone hate you? That was really nice. <laughs> um, my mom is actually addicted to Bath and Body Works, so it's very fitting. I may just... You, that would actually be a good video, Jonna, just because I know nothing about Bath and Body Works candles, and you know nothing about Taylor Swift's music. So, like, we might be pretty good in our respective categories. That actually feels like a leveled playing field. We Honestly, I'm so serious. Like, we're going to do that. Um, that would be fun. I'm just nervous she's going to drop more merch in one day, or what do y'all think she's going to do? Does she usually drop a lot? I genuinely really don't have, um, like, mer other than, like, I just said, like, I, ha I do have that hoodie that I bought recently. Um, that's, you know, and it wasn't even from, like, her website directly. It was, like, secondhand. So, I've never, never, like, experienced, like, the merch stuff. I've never, other than, like, buying the album. But, like, I clothes, I guess I should say. I should be more specific. Um, I think the Great War would have put a show up there the best. True. I'm trying to think, like, what's missing there. I also really liked Glitch. But Glitch, I I think Glitch, though, um, is 
an acquired taste. Like, I feel like that's probably not a popular song that people like, but I liked it. Um, five and a half hour flight to Philly to Aurora. That's a pretty long flight. Um, up until Paris, which was, I think, nine hours for me. Up until then, like, the longest flight I had probably been on was about four hours from um, Louisiana. I live in Louisiana. And so it was Louisiana to uh, Las Vegas. No, L.A. I've been to L.A., like, California. And that was, like, I think around close to five hours, but maybe not that long. Am I delusional? Did they give merch a major vamp up? The pictures are so much better. The hoodie is cotton. I can't be the one to answer that, but I'm sure that wasn't directed to me anyway. So <laughs> you guys can let them know. Um, you guys think it's going to happen at two in the ring? Oh my God. Uh, I kind of, I kind of think that there will be something at two just because like she does some crazy stuff. Like, um, like not to ask for more because she clearly makes a lot of things. Like, no one is starving for content. Like, she definitely makes sure that people are taken care of. But how cool would it be, though, to have, like, more? Um, yeah, I'll be crying my eyes at it, too. Or, you know what? We're all just going to be collectively sitting here at 2 a.m. Just being like, is it? Are you? So, I uh, I took off of work tomorrow because I wanted to make, um, like, the first videos for here. So I've never done something like that either. So like <laughs> I'm committed to the, I said the bit, but like I'm, I'm committed here. Um, um, what tracks do you claim? I said I was interested in, well, I think I've like changed it literally four times in the 57 minutes that I've been on here. But I think originally I said um, guilty as sin alchemy. Those were the two I was really like ready to hear. Um, but now looking at, I keep looking at the list and down bad feels like slang and I kind of like it. So I want to know like, if she's going to use it in that way, or she'll probably put some, um, twist on it. I think I love glitch, but I don't, I see, but I see how I, that's what I was saying. Like, I, I could see that people, I could see why people wouldn't like it, but I do. <laughs> um, Hey, and I got like five records for my record player because i have one wait do you ordered like five copies of this album or did you say like you just got like five um like records recently i'm claiming i'm claiming sweet nothing on as you should also one that grew on me um hey i love your videos excited for the album to stay up if anything happens to thanks for saying that i appreciate it um yeah i'm excited too like i said like it's so hard because like i don't I, I have to, like, this is an album that we're all experiencing together. So I know that I have to, like, listen to the song for the first time, like, on camera. Like, I, I know that. But I want to listen to it so bad. But I'm not going to do that. Or if I do, I'm going to, like, actually, like, start, not multiple videos, but, like, I'm going to at least maybe record, because Fortnite's the first song. I might record it tonight just because I'm, like, antsy. And, like, I want to be a part of the moment of it being dropped and just being, like, um, but I don't know yet. I, I have nothing that it would require me to go to sleep. Like I don't have to go to work or anything like that, but I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Um, glitch stand. It gives serious false God. Huh? I see the, so it goes false God. I feel like I really enjoyed that one. I need to like listen to them back to back to see your connection there. I, I'm sure it is. I just haven't like those songs probably haven't played um in any order that would make me think that because i haven't like listened to them at the same time but you're probably right my me and my friends are joking about daddy i love him i should start with ariel saying that <laughs> i have to go to bed now we need to coordinate our zoom call i may just listen to the new album she's lying she is lying she's not gonna listen to that album but i believe her about the zoom call so um if you guys oh you just don't have to watch it if you don't. But if you're interested in seeing something like that, I genuinely think we're probably going to make that video together. Um, Jonna, she doesn't make videos or anything like that, but she she went to Bali recently and she made a really cool vlog. I know I will not pretend like I have any skills. I would argue that my videos really aren't even that good. But 
she's a really good at like um she's a really good editor and i'm sure she's good at a lot of things but like she's really good at editing and like i'm not the person where i guess i guess it goes to like i'm not like super anxiety person but i'm not like a i want to just do this in public and no shade to her I, mean, I think she's already gone but she can hear this like it's not like bad but like she is a person that could easily just like she always wants a photo shoot done she always wants that kind of thing so like if you go anywhere with her this is like you're just taking her picture a lot of the times <laughs> so i didn't go to bali with her i that was not my trip but she made a really cool like uh like 30 30 or 40 minute vlog and i think this is meant, not meant to sound bad, but I think you would only be interested if you knew her. But, like, it was a really good video. I think it might actually be on her thing. But, um, so she doesn't, like, make videos videos, but she's she's dabbled, I guess. Um, okay, sorry. I just started talking. Uh, hey, hey. Oh, why did I say it like that? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, hey. Um, my Minutes crew neck is great quality, not gonna lie. It's synthetic, everything about her shop. I'm I'm sure maybe we have a different shop through Universal. Oh, I didn't realize that it was different in different countries. I really, so again, not that anyone cares, but um, my family is, my grandma specifically is from Germany and she, she's getting like, I mean, all people are getting older, but she's getting older and we might actually go to a trip um, to go to her hometown um, and I'd really want to go. If we don't go with her, we're gonna do like a like a like a like a student trip, like a group trip. Um, but she's she's uh, I think her hometown is Frankfurt. Like if we went to Germany, um, I I'm assuming you're from Germany. I I mean you just said I I am German, so I'm not trying to like make assumptions there. But if it's what I think it is, like we would maybe be going to like I think it's Frankfurt. Um, I'm the biggest false god stand. Uh, kind of same like fight me for that title i'm kidding i'm <laughs> but you get it oh you're all in now i called off to see that honestly like um it's not to say like it's a it's not embarrassment but like i did not say that, that was the reason i was taking off i couldn't not because like i said not because i'm embarrassed but i feel like they would also be like okay you can't have off like you know, like, I mean, it's not, like, employers, like, right to, like, tell you what what reason is, like, a worthy reason. But I feel like if I would literally put, like, I'm listening to an album. Uh, and honestly, not even an album, because I do one track. Per, like, <laughs> I'm I'm taking off because I need to record, um, like, one, maybe two videos. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm down bad. Track four, I am down bad. Um. Swifties are the best comedy ever. I agree. Um, I that might be biased, of course, but ha so I've dabbled um with a couple different, and you might have noticed on my channel, I've listened to, you know, a couple not many, but I've listened to a couple different artists um on this channel, and I have to say y'all are the nicest. Like I know most of the people that are watching here are pretty much all of you know taylor swift fans which makes sense so like i feel like i can generalize by saying like you guys are the nice ones because like i said i really have not gotten like out of pocket hate but um i may i would say the taylor swift like fa like though like at least youtube wise i'm talking about um taylor swift fans have always been the nicest and even when i i would venture to say that i like most of the songs but even when i've had an opinion that wasn't always like the, the greatest like no one even like was saying like oh you're you're the worst for that but i literally I, I remember it so specifically i kind of tried to listen to some of lana del rey's music and i enjoyed some of it it was born to die the album i didn't even finish it because literally i don't even remember what video i said and like like i said when i post a video i gotta close this because like i can't deal with it but um pe people they were not trying to say lana del rey fans are mean but like they were like you don't get it. Granted, I didn't. Like, they know, like, I think there's a lot of symbolism in her music that I was just not catching on to, so I was like, y'all hate these videos. <laughs> um, I don't know enough about this woman. Like, I, I gotta drop it. And I don't want to say it's a shame. Like, I'm not trying to be, like, 
boohoo, but like I would have liked to listen to more, but like I also did not want to deal with like just like every comment being like you're you don't get it. And I'm like, that's the point <laughs> of making videos. It's like I'm trying to get it. Um, but that was besides the point. Um, okay, I'm sorry. Got five records recently. Sorry for no, don't say that. I wasn't like I wasn't trying to like be rude. I was genuinely like I was asking. Um False Gods is my favorite. It comes out, hey, I watched your videos when you looked kind of awful. No offense. It's See? Okay, yeah, I, I bought a camera. That's what it was. I, and sometimes I wish um I like I recorded them on my iPhone. And I wish that like some of the I don't want to say really good albums, but like folklore and like ever like I wish I would have made those videos when I I mean, granted, this looks awful, but this is just because the MacBook camera. Like I this was not like an official video. But I wish that I would have had a better setup when I made those videos because I think they would be, like you said, like a little, at least a little bit better. Like I said, I will never say they're great, but I think they're better now than what they were. Um, shout out to grandma. Yeah. Um, I'm from Germany. Yes. Frankfurt is cool. I would say it's gives New York vibes. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I genuinely like know nothing about where she's from. Um, I must've been psyching and Jerry. Cause when I took off a week and, <laughs> <laughs> you like preemptively took off what time are you guys for it's the it's 10 31 for me so like i don't wait till midnight for albums because it comes out midnights uh i say midnights it, not even just taylor swift most albums for me if i stay up for them um they come out midnight eastern time which is like new york time so for central time zone like chicago and like louisiana that's always 11 for me so i don't ever actually wait until my midnight for um an album he just might be my favorite person to react to taylor swift the lies was so fun thank you time to fly gotta go now yeah thank you for being here like i said you're probably gone i'm just catching up but i'm excited that you guys somewhat not trying to be like like oh you gotta watch but like i think i should do more of these i think it's fun um if you remain at least civil swifties or angels if you're slightly too negative they turn into the devil i haven't experienced that i probably could understand that um, but I'm trying to think of like, in the least controversial way, like what songs would I just like, if I have to say I did not like a Taylor Swift song, like, what would that be? I feel like the cliche answer is me, but I don't think me was that bad. Is it a song that I want to listen to? No, I really don't. Like, I have not really like gone back to it, but I wouldn't call it a bad song. Like, like I said, I think it's also just dependent on the audience with certain songs because, like, my niece is seven and she eats that up. Like, she she loves that song. So, I, but I'm trying to think of, like, a song that I just really just was, like, not it for me. Um, let me look. Because it wouldn't be anything. It might be something from 1989. But I don't know if it's really that I don't like them. It's just I feel like they got overplayed because I knew a lot of 1989 prior to the album just because, which isn't a bad thing. It's just, I guess, they were just really big um, hits, you know? And it's not to say, like like I said, they're not bad. They're just like, do I want to hear Blank Space right now? No. At least that's me. Like, I would always say that it's a great song, greatly written, great, literally masterpiece song. But like, I don't like to listen to the songs that I feel like I've heard a thousand times, but, uh, Oh, it's 9 AM for you. Wow. Okay. That's cool. So like, so some people really just don't have like midnight really like, you know, like it's like in the middle, not the middle of the day, but it's like definitely like a much different experience for you. Um, guys, there's an Instagram chat theme. What does that mean? Let me look. I don't want to hold you guys from like events. Um, uh, I don't see anything. So I don't know what we're talking about. Um, 30 minutes. Yeah, it's getting closer. Listening to Evermore. Ooh, I wish that you didn't get copyrighted on lives because I would be playing music. Like we could just like vibe. Um, if you listen to Spy, stop the music five minutes before you have the opportunity to listening. See, that's what it come in. I hate daylight New Year's Day. Can't say that online. I will get dust. <laughs> um, I like daylight. So my opinion, I guess my controversial take on, um, daylight is great song i believe that but like does anyone else think it might be a like a minute or two too long like 
I like I love the song, but like sometimes when I listen to it, I'm kind of like, this could be shorter. Like it's like six minutes, or I don't know, maybe maybe not six minutes. Maybe I'm being dramatic, but it's like kind of a little bit longer than what I needed to. And it and I wouldn't cut the voice memo part. I think that's a a worthy part of the song. I just think like I don't know what the right word is. Like it's not like a there's something that just has an extra verse or not even verse. Like it just does the chord. Something about it's just a little too long for me. But when I listen to it, I just kind of like listen to most of it, but then like kind of drop off like the last minute of it because it kind of just, but that would be my like, I guess, controversial take on um, like daylight. New Year's day. I don't, I don't dislike that one. I think, I think it's like a really good ender for um min uh not midnight's uh, <laughs> reputation but just because it kind of feels like a softer side but i think that one's also kind of a little bit repetitive as well but i don't think that's a bad thing either let's see it's fi it's 5 30 for you wow that's crazy like i mean time zones exist i'm not stupid but like that's so crazy to think how like how different um where people are i i honestly in like the i say this a lot but like at least dramatic way but like i also would never have believed that anyone like not, not that it's about the united states but like how, like it's so crazy to think like how people find you um you know and like i'm putting this out into the world like i get that but like i never thought that the, this little this little video from like louisiana like would make it to like europe or not even that it's about that, even if it's a two state, like, it's just crazy how, like, how cool sometimes when you think, like, the internet is, like, how I never would talk to the, you guys, like, you know, some of you guys, like, ever, and it's just kind of cool sometimes to think about, but that was random. <laughs> um, let's see, sorry. Okay, I live on the West Coast, so most albums that are released are 9 p.m., which is luckily not too late. That is nice that you get the, um, like, kind of, like, earlier vibes because you don't have to like wait up like the whole world like or wake up really early for some people like because i'm i don't know if you guys always wake up at 6 a.m but like that would not be my daily routine if i didn't have to um yes oh so i'm catching up to the comments about daylight so you got so you kind of agree um that it is a little it's a little repetitive um here's my honest opinion too long spoken outros is meh my biggest issue, it feels forced. It doesn't seem like it came naturally here. It's crafted in a lab. That is a hot take. Um, see, like, when I'm listening to the song, I, I don't need to listen to the out like the outro memo every time. But on the first listen, like, you know, as, like, a bookend, I thought it did give, like, a, like a nice closing message. I kind of thought that. Um, for New Year's Day, it feels like a Frankenstein song. <laughs> hold on to the memories they will hold on you, please. Don't. One thing I I love is that you got the opinions. Like you're gonna say the things that people don't want to say, <laughs> or at least for you. Um, yeah, I well, I'm trying to like think of like New Year's Day, um, specifically to think like what what about it? I. Yeah, I mean, I kind of see what you mean in a way. Is someone from the Caribbean? Uh, don't. Oh, I'm not. I mean, but <laughs> um, I live in eastern eastern area, so I'm listening at midnight. At least you can say, Christina. At least you can say, like, you literally didn't meet her at midnight. <laughs> if you did watch, um, I mean, not watch. If you did listen to Midnight's when it came out, you 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 were living, you were living the real. Um, release like unlike everyone else that i if i was there i would be listening to it at 11 p.m but like i'm trying to see if there's any you know what i'm gonna just because i'm on here i'm gonna go on twitter and see if i see anything that looks like interesting about the album because i don't see like i must not follow so like if if you're on twitter do you guys follow just like the like, okay, so there's one, I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about, but there's this account called Pop Crave, and it kind of just posts, like, it's kind of just, like, news. It's, like, updates. Um, that's, like, the only thing I really follow 
well, not only thing, but like in regards to getting like information, like kind of like about Taylor Swift or like artists and like music industry, I um I follow that, but like I, I'm assuming that you guys maybe follow other Taylor Swift fans, and I don't I don't have that, so and I probably could. I mean, if you guys are on Twitter, but um maybe that's where I'm where I like miss out on like the uh. But then again, I don't think I really would want to be on there just because I kind of make videos with an opinion that's not not that it's like you guys' opinions but like kind of like not, not trying to be convinced or persuaded other ways but um yes oh you were cool so you were there at midnight uh there is a fortnite challenge is it is it on the game fortnite because all right i don't play not that anyone cares i don't know why i act like that <laughs> uh i don't play like a lot of games like uh, i'm not i've never been like super into video games but i so random story but um during covid there it was like a playstation 5 that came out and like for some reason i don't know i must have been real bored in quarantine because i just like decided that i needed that and i had to go on a wait list to get it because like covid like they weren't making the chips or something so, like, literally a, an entire year later, I got off of the wait list, and I just was like, I have to buy it. So, I bought a PlayStation 5, and don't play it. Like, I really don't. Like, I have one I have one game. It's, like, Spider-Man. And then, but I downloaded Fortnite, and it's actually not that bad. I'm not good at it. Like, I lose often. But is the challenge there? Because, like, I would, because I think they have, like, Avatar there right now. Um, Taylor Nation. Oh, that I have heard of that. I don't. I might follow that actually. I might follow that on Instagram, because I follow Taylor Swift. I th I don't know if I follow that on Twitter, but I do follow that. So I follow that account somewhere, and I don't remember where. Um, in the first track with "Meet Me at Midnight," <laughs> that had to have been like a thinking of like the whiplash from like Evermore to Midnight's is kind of crazy. Um, I only use Facebook and Instagram for uh taylor swift info i i would say instagram is also probably be mine i don't follow um anything really on facebook but I, I really don't use facebook that often though um but instagram is probably i say instagram but honestly here <laughs> when when you when you now have a channel <laughs> sort of dedicated to it uh i find out well, these days, I find out, like, 90% of the things from you guys. And I'm not even kidding. Like, um, I'll make, like, a community post. Or I, I do have that Google form. So, a lot of times, I do get a lot of really... What I like about that Google form thing is, like, that uh, it... You guys are super specific. And, like, I love that when you want me to listen to something. But I agree with you because I try, but it's too much for me. Okay, and you guys, I'm signing off my... Oh, that's cool that y'all are having like a little streaming party together. Hope you enjoy. Um, I know that's not always the easiest way to like communicate like how you feel, but I'd love to hear your all of you love to hear your thoughts as you go. If you tell me your thoughts though, in the least, just try not to spoil it though. But like, I would love to, maybe I'll make a community post. I know that community is kind of a weird way to communicate, but like that's the only. I thought about it too. I get so off track. I I know I don't have like a lot of like subscribers and followers i don't care but i genuinely don't care about that but would a discord be kind of cool or like some sort of chat i think it would but like i would admit that i probably wouldn't be like super talkative in it like all the time but just to like i don't know i think that would be kind of fun but i also would be scared to make it and like no one join it because <laughs> then i would just have to like lie and pretend like it never existed because I could not live with like no one joining it. Um, <laughs> but I do think it would be sort of fun. Like maybe not like, again, not like all the time, but for things like this, like I would love to hear like, or I would love to read like you guys' like reactions as you go through it. Um, just to like, just to kind of see what you're um, doing there. But that's what kind of those besides the point. Um, Instagram is the best platform after YouTube. I, well, I do enjoy TikTok, but I don't think I get my information very much from there. Um, 
by Kels. She posted a short about a new challenge. I'm gonna have to go look at the challenge because I don't, I don't. Should I do the challenge? Well, is the challenge hard, <laughs> or is it just like posting a video? This was so fun. I'm glad you enjoyed. I, I genuinely, um, I like appreciate how nice you guys are about this. Like it's it, it's been a lot of fun for me too. Um, Discord is a nice way to communicate. All right. Not saying I'm gonna make it, but I might make a little post about it maybe one day if you guys would be interested in it um 15 minutes if there's a god please let me like this album <laughs> i feel like you will like there there's even if it's like the worst album in the world i feel like there's definitely going to be at least two or three redeeming songs and i think there's going to be more don't get me wrong but like I, I feel like the very least you can count on a couple like you know good songs um so at I know it's like literally four minutes, but I think at like 1050 or whatever 50 it is for you, I might log off just because I know a lot of you are probably going to be start with understandably are um, going to start dropping off just because you're probably going to get your setups set up for the album. So like I said, it's not too much longer, but probably in about like four ish minutes. Um, I'll kind of start getting off of here, uh, which actually not that it matters, but it, it would be exactly one hour and 25 minutes. So I'll do that, but um, I'll kind of start getting off that way. I don't take up your space. <laughs> and uh, I hope that all of you guys that are watching enjoy the album thoroughly. Um, I feel like you guys will, but like hope that especially you, um, Spades, or gate how, how do you print i would like to know how to pronounce that username i'm sure that's not like your is that your name but hope you enjoy it just because you said if there's a god that like, you need to enjoy it so i'm 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 pushing for you to like it the most <laughs> um there will be redeeming songs my least favorite album is red and i love a lot i could see how red like red is very um like i don't want to say inconsistent but like it's very um you know like it, it's a it's a jumble it's it's a little bit of a jumble it's always great to watch you that is so nice like i keep saying that but like i don't know what else to say but um it's not it's it's as in gates okay oh okay i get your username now sorry <laughs> that that might have been like something i should have known i'm just also kind of dumb <laughs> uh but cool I know, because I've definitely, like, we've definitely, like, interacted a lot um, through through here and also, um, you know, just in general. But <laughs> definitely, because I think, he, are you on TikTok? Because I'm almost, or maybe you were on Patreon at one point. I, I definitely have seen, <laughs> oh, you're not. Okay, so maybe you were on Patreon for a point. I just remember seeing your, uh, Patreon. See? Okay. That's where it was from. I remember that. Um, I'm so anxious and think that I'll throw up just tune in and say, uh, yeah, happy release. <gasps> Pete, that is so funny. Um, I was asking you if you were the tick. We're we're friends on TikTok, aren't we? The uh Pete, I'm I, I'm almost positive that um uh, I say for, like you know, like we follow each other on TikTok. I'm gonna look because I'm we are. Okay. Look, I told you on my For You page was Taylor Swift. I've opened it and it's just like this, I don't want to say old lady, but grandma standing in front of the Eras Tour poster. <laughs> like, I'm down the rabbit hole. I was going to check if um, we did follow each other. I, I knew I recognized um, your username. So, um, that's that. <laughs> was that. Which one was, what album opener was that? Oh, fearless. Okay. Oh well. Well, I think I actually have heard that song because that's that's in the Eras tour. Um, I think so. I've heard it. I don't really like know it, but I, I've definitely heard it. I think. Um, happy. Yeah. All right. So um, I don't know. Like, what is our what is our what is our last things? Like, what should we all wish each other? Like, I don't really know. Like, just hope we get good songs. I mean, I feel like that again isn't really a worry, but like, hope we get the good music. Um. I hope that I, I'm I think the most thing I'm excited for is um, the fact that like we're 
this sounds bad, but I don't mean it in a bad way. We're on the same playing field now. Like, don't get me wrong. Y'all are always going to know more than me. And you're probably going to know these niche references that are in this album that I won't know. But every song I've or every video I've ever made, it has been for a song that's been like two years old. Like even when Midnight's came out, it was like a year late. Like this is the first time that we were like, for the most part, y'all don't know that much more than I do. <laughs> so, um, you know, I might I might have something more here this time. <laughs> Uh, I'm kidding, but less than 10 minutes. It's all, it's all, it is fair game. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Like I might not be so wrong anymore. Uh, hope we get some bops. I, I do hope that too. I kind of, I, I'm here for a sad album all the way, but I, I think it would be nice to sprinkle in some like, you know, except like not exciting, um, upbeat songs. All is fair in love and poetry. First album release for me, except for two. Same here. Um, excited? Are you are you excited as well? Um, I really wish that. Uh, how? If you're still here, I thank you for being here. I know it's getting close. I'm sorry, but if you're still here, how? How like banned would I be if we just like kind of heard some of the song together? as the first one. I, don't, I just feel like I'd be banned and I'm sure you guys want your experiences to yourself. But I'm like really tempted just to like uh, like play it here. But I know that that would literally that the what was it? The, that documentary, they were so rude. Like they literally like if you post a copyright video if you've never posted on YouTube uh, um they act like you killed their cat. Like, I swear to God. Like, I understand copyright. I do. I I don't want to take anything away from a person that owns the copyright. But, like, the way they act when you post a video, they... It's like you're on trial. And, I'm, and I still haven't figured out how other people do it. I mean, I, that might be a me thing. But, like, they... Sometimes I, I like... Sometimes I will make a video, if you've ever wondered why some things take a long time, I will make it and it will be uploaded on my account for like four days. And I'm just waiting to see if it's going to like make it because <laughs> not the actual songs. That usually isn't an issue. It's more if there's anything that's like video related. So if it's like a music video, those are okay. Um, but like it's the movies and like the to the Eras Tour too, that Honestly, though, Disney gave that up. Like, they let me post that cruel summer video. So, I'm gonna um, record the uh, Evermore set next. I think, but okay, gotta go. So yeah, okay, I did say like like five minutes ago that I was gonna get off, but I don't shut up. So, um, again, thank you guys so very much for just being here for as long as you have. Like, it's genuinely been so fun. Um, I know it's different because it's like an album release night and stuff, but uh, just thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it all and hope you have the best time. With, oh God, I went to the gym and my hair looks crazy. Um, and so just thank you so much. And I will see you when we listen to Fortnite. Have a good one.